so it's around 1 30 um i am just now leaving bb pop so i came here for lunch after my interview this morning well it wasn't an interview portfolio review um it was really fun like it was really good a lot more like chill than i thought it was gonna be and i really fudged up like some of the presentation stuff was not very smooth um so but like once you start messing up a little bit kind of breaks the tension and you're just like okay no pressure just talking just gonna tell them what I did um so like yeah really good to talk through it my portfolio and uh sharing it with people that have no idea what I'm doing with my life it was the only question that was really hard to answer was like what do you want (laughs) what do you want out of this like what do you want to do what do you want to do longer term and I'm just like "Mm, I like options and so uh gave as much of like a I like options kind of answer as possible um without being like non-committal because the thing is like I want to do something for a while and learn like as much as I can from it and then uh you know we'll see what comes next we'll see um but yeah, I, it went really well, I think, and I'm going to go get some uh, Starbucks to celebrate, I guess. But I also need to make up for the fact that I got, like, five hours of sleep max. It was very weird sleep last night. So I was stressed about this, like, putting my portfolio together because I had a few other things that I needed to put in. So it was, like, 11 or something, and I was like, okay, well, I'll just go to bed now. I'll get up early and start working on it in the morning. I had thrown a bunch of stuff into one of the pages and I hadn't done any refining work on it so I didn't like I knew that I had a lot of work to do on it and so I think at like 2 a.m. my brain was just like you're gonna fail this if you don't get up and start doing things and I was just like okay I'm trying not to like freak myself out and I should just do it I just need to get up and do it that way I'm not losing sleep over it and not getting anything done so yeah, I got up and I, and I did it and I finished it enough and it was 5 a.m. by the time I was done. So from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. I was up cleaning up my portfolio and doing things on there, trying to hopefully put in a bunch of my Chick-fil-A things and I kind of screwed up the web design a little bit. Like it kind of, because I was doing it like kind of rushed, last minute, didn't really tell the story super great. I threw a bunch of content in, just, just throwing it in. And yeah, didn't didn't really help, but it's okay. It it was on there, you know, like it was on there. And I will clean it up later. I will probably be working on that in the in the coming weeks. But I'm kind of pooped right now because I did that. So yeah, basically got up, went to school, uh, accidentally skipped breakfast because I was still getting ready, <laughs> um, and had a really short meeting with my uh, professor going over my project and where it's at right now. And then zoomed over to Zukun, the uh, company that I'm hoping maybe we'll see what comes next. I don't really know. It's a little too far out there to say. But yeah, so that's cool. Um, A lot different than what I was expecting, but like in the best way possible. Like it felt a lot more relaxed and like I feel a lot better coming away from it than I did getting there, which is always a good thing. That is always, always a good thing. Um, What else? can't really think of anything else off the top of my head um gonna just go back to school and work the rest of the afternoon if I get there in time it's already almost two um and class ends at 3 30 or so so and then I have a small group tonight 6 30 to 7 no 6 I don't know I'm, I'm not gonna say when it was but I have it tonight so I'm excited about that and I feel so so much better than I did, than I did this morning way more alive and gonna go reward myself with some starbucks just stay motivated and focus on your goals and progress is progress even if it's slow so it's thursday night now um it is the first night of spring break and uh i was thinking just a little while ago about how I spent my first ever spring break uh, at school and now i'm on my last one and in some ways they're kind of paralleled um I will say so much has changed, but also there's some things that are similar and also definitely different. Um, So for the first spring break I had in college, my freshman year, 
I spent the whole thing at my dorm in my room for most of it and it was such a weird time like so weird so so different than how I am now um but I spent most of it just playing the sims uh distracting myself with anything possible staying in my room um I remember it was really cold so it like snowed a lot and uh I was on campus too so like didn't really have I didn't have a car didn't have anywhere to go and I scared the cleaning lady a couple of times <laughs> she didn't know I was gonna be there and so many so many other smaller things that happened over it that it's just like crazy how different I am now and just as a person I'm different and it's funny I actually recorded a few things over that break and Maybe I'll put them in here. I don't know. I was so embarrassed that I did that, but it was like one thing that kind of kept me sane. And that's, I think, part of where, you know, I've started again with with doing this again. It's kind of a gift to myself, future me, to be able to look back and, and remember what I was dealing with, what I was thinking about, and honestly, the person that I was. Because as I am now isn't going to be how I am in a few years, and it's going to change so quickly that it's sweet to be able to have this. Um, so I just wanted to take a little bit of time to like, you know, reflect. Um, I, I do this pretty often, but you know, I think I've been kind of not, not avoiding filming, but just kind of letting it fall to the wayside. And I'm, I kind of definitely regret that. And I'm going to be more intentional the rest of the semester with filming more. Um, but I also think it's okay to take a slower week. It's okay to have less on one week than the rest, that's okay. And that's totally fine. That's how this week went. I happened to spend a lot of time uh, in community with other people, and that's really cool. I had a uh, small group on Monday night, and then uh, I did something on Tuesday. I don't remember what now. And then I had another small group on Wednesday night. And um, it's just like, it's really sweet to have all of those experiences and to have all that time. Um... And I'm, I'm actually going on a, like, I'm hanging out with someone tomorrow, too. So that should be, that should be fun. And then uh, meeting someone on Sunday as well. So lots of, lots of hanging out time. Uh, but this spring break, I don't really, I didn't really have time to think about plans. So I didn't plan anything, which means that I don't have any plans. Um, but I really want to do something. Like, I really want to do something. And... I'm thinking about checking out and seeing if there's, like, an Airbnb somewhere in a city nearby that's not too far to drive to, like, Cincinnati or, you know, somewhere like that or, I don't know, even Chicago if I feel like it, I don't know. Um, it's still an idea right now. I don't have any plans. Um, I do have, you know, a good 10 days to find things to do and that's plenty of time to have fun, you know, plenty of time to do things and... I need to, I need to get out of, like, this area would be really cool, getting out of my comfort zone would be amazing, filming more stuff, having more exciting things to film, that would be cool, uh, playing around with some editing, that would be really fun, uh, so, we'll see, I might do that, I don't know, <laughs> we'll have to check budget, um, I have to see if I can do that, you know, it's, it is a weird time of life where, like, I'd don't technically have any money you know but it's I have money but it's not my money but you know it's also like I gotta invest in myself and stay focused on like becoming the kind of person that I want to become so that when those opportunities do come I'm ready for them um so that's kind of what I'm thinking right now and I so appreciate the vlogs and just being able to like talk like this and and think through it um it's, it's just so helpful for me. Uh, I can't be candid about literally everything in my life because that would be weird. And like I said, I don't try and film literally everything. But uh, I guess I really do appreciate like just how many, how many people have really rallied around me right now and encouraged me and pushed me to be the best that I can be. And so many of those people I don't get to show as much in these vlogs because mostly I just film when I'm thinking about it, which is usually when I'm by myself. And those people, 
I really want to capture more of those moments and be able to remember them um, better. Um, So I'll just say I'm kind of like reigniting that desire a little bit in myself. And it's okay. Like I said, it's totally fine that I've been not as consistent with that stuff lately. And um, I falling back in love with design in general and life in general has been harder than usual lately. Um, I feel just kind of in a funky place, like the stressful stuff going on with my family, the stressful stuff going on with like other people's lives, graduation, everything kind of happening at once. Um, it just makes it hard to feel like I can just relax and be like, oh, I'm just gonna have a fun college time. Like, mm, you're also dealing with a lot of other things like your family and other other areas of life um so I mean one thing at a time I guess the job interview went pretty well on Monday I think and um I've been meaning to go send a thank you letter but it's one of those things like I just haven't I don't have anything on hand and I don't like think to go get it and then I I'll send it by the end of this weekend I guess um I will probably try and get coffee with uh, one of the people there and meet and just, like, hear her story about what she, what brought her to design and, like, all those stuff, like, just life in general would be really cool to be able to meet her. Um, if there's anything super notable, nothing, like, huge has happened lately. Um, I do want to say, like, I try and keep my life, like, fairly simple that way like I can do it the best that I can and I'm not overwhelmed and I'm able to be like focused on what it needs to be focused on um and this is like a random side alley but like my dad has been kind of proposing this this business plan or whatever for uh buying starting like a a company doing like property design stuff like I I don't understand like I it's it's his thing I guess but I will not personally be starting things that I don't understand completely, you know? Like, I'm not I'm not going to pretend that I know enough about it to just start a company in it. And, um, yeah, I just, I don't know why I'm so, like, <laughs> it's so hard to, like, talk right now for some reason. I'm, like, I think it's because I, I feel, like, guilty for not having recorded more this week. And I'm talking myself through that and being like, it's okay, there's weeks like that, but also, like, I am sorry that I haven't been, been here more, like, mentally, I mean, and it's just, like, there's so many things that I, like, haven't, haven't processed fully, and I've been really, like, fortunate this week. For some reason, like, I've had so many meaningful conversations with people just, like, talking through life and hard things, like, even today, I had a good conversation with one of my housemates about it, um, and, like, probably this week I've had four conversations, maybe, that, like, full-on, like, telling my entire life story kind of thing, and, like, it's just, like, so cool to see that, like, this is something that I've been trying to do, and it's, like, not been coming naturally, or, like, I'm just afraid of being like too self-focused on stuff like that and I'm like sharing myself but also holding back and also you know other things but like I'm finally feeling more like I can be vulnerable with the people I'm around you know and talk through things and just be like open with life and that's really cool like I'm I'm finally coming back to myself you know a little bit slowly (laughs) slowly and surely but uh so yeah I'm hoping to go to like a coffee shop tomorrow, maybe, um, go just have a little quiet time, um, I actually need to go get, I'm so sorry to my roommate, I've been using her conditioner because I ran out and she's been out of the country in Kosovo, and so I've just been like, oh, I'll get it by the time she gets back, it's okay, now I'm like, I gotta replace her conditioner, I'm so sorry, (laughs) um, so I, I gotta get some of that tomorrow, and it's, you know, one thing at a time, but, um, I just wanted to do a little quick check-in and be like, I'm still alive, hopefully, 
but yeah i'm doing okay ish but catch you guys later thanks for watching So thankful for waterproof jackets because I just spilled a bunch of coffee on me and the only thing that's on me is on my leg. So it looks really great and super fun to do right before you're hanging out with someone you don't know super well. Just spill coffee on yourself. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>